Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, Growing in God. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh it away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that he may bring forth more fruit. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. John 15, 1 through 7. It is a delight for farmers to do their planting. They don't just plant, however, for the sake of planting, but they plant in the hopes that one day they'll be able to reap from that which they have planted. Now, after a tree is planted, before it can grow, it needs proper nurturing. And so the process that a farmer goes through is pretty tedious because they have to do a lot of weeding and a lot of watering. I've had the experience of doing some planting, and I am no farmer by any stretch of the imagination. But when we first got our house, the yard was completely empty. There was not even as much as a limb to give shade. With just basic knowledge, I planted some seeds, not knowing if they would ever grow, but I kept on watering the spot where I planted. It gives an unexplainable feeling the first time you see a sprout push through that earth. Now, in order for these plants to grow, I constantly had to be weeding them. I constantly had to be watering them. Watering them didn't allow them to grow overnight. I had to water them on a consistent basis. How therapeutic it was when I saw those small trees started to grow. Once I was able to stomp on them with my foot, but now I'm able to climb them because they have grown. Being baptized is an awesome thing. But if we are not properly nurtured, then we can't grow. In order for us to grow in God, we have to be watered by the Word. The Word is what causes us to grow. David, as a matter of fact, said, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. David again said, Wherewithal shall the young man cleanse his ways? But by taking heed unto his word. When a seed is planted, it can offer no comfort to anyone, but as it begins to grow, then the branches can provide shade for both man and beast. Jesus said he is the true vine, and if we abide in him and he in us, then we can have growth. Now judging yourself, have you grown in God? There are many of us who could not stand being criticized, but because we have grown in God, words like those don't matter us anymore. In order to grow in God, you've got to constantly feed yourself with positive words, positive messages, positive music. Uh, you've even got to feed yourself with positive people around you. And get this, growing is one thing. But no farmer plants a fruit tree just for that tree to grow. But that tree has got to be a fruit. I can't explain the feeling after years of seeing those trees. But what was even more amazing when I saw those trees started to bear fruit, started to yield. If we are not bearing fruit, none of this makes any sense. If you were somebody who loved to gossip, loved to lie, loves to steal, loved to hate, loved to murmur, loved to complain, the fruits you are now bearing will indicate that the years of nurturing was really effective. Jesus said any branch in him that bears not fruit, he's going to cut down. I would encourage you today, child of God, to make sure that you're feeding your spirit with the proper nourishment. If you're an apple tree, then bear apples. If you're an orange tree, then bear oranges. It is impossible for you to have growth in God if you're not reading his word. You're not praying, you're not fasting, you're not feeding your spirit with the things of God. My encouragement to you today, allow the word of God to water you so that you can have true growth in God. The quote of the day, if you abide in him, he will abide in you. God bless you today in Jesus name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Promise keeper, light in the darkness.